Each year in the summertime, the Connecticut State Department of Education releases the results of the CMTs, the Connecticut Mastery Tests. Now those tests measure the progress of students and determine if schools are meeting the standards set by the state. News Ace Jocelyn Mementa tells us if students in New Haven are making the grade. The results are mixed for the standardized test results. Overall, New Haven high schools were just slightly ahead of statewide CAP scores. The CMTs declined for grades 3 to 8, reflecting a similar trend in the state. Garth Harries is the new superintendent. We ask our students when they take a test, what's important for them is to go back and understand what didn't go well, right, um, and learn from that. And that's exactly what we've got to do and will do as a district. High School of the Community, which did not automatically promote ninth graders at the end of the last school year, improved its numbers. That mentality with students of you need to actually master the material before you get promoted, I think what we're seeing here is some of the benefits of that with the 10th graders who did have um, some level of mastery-based curriculum this year. Superintendent Harry says the dip in CMTs was expected in part due to the shift of teaching students the higher learning standard of the Common Core, not on taking the CMTs. The Common Core is designed to be uh, for, for students to have fewer things they need to learn, for them to learn them more deeply and to greater levels of rigor. That's especially notable in the drop of test scores among third graders. The superintendent says testing for Common Core will likely be the test of choice this coming school year. The superintendent also underscored a parent's role in a student's success. This year, for the first time, New Haven parents can go online to monitor a student's progress on a regular basis. In New Haven, Jocelyn Maminta, News 8.